long time no see and I do apologize for that. It has been about, I guess about two weeks since I've actually uploaded a video and a lot has been going on around here. So this video is, we're gonna actually be looking at these two coloring books that we have sitting before us today. But um, before we do that, I just kinda wanna talk about a little bit about what's been going on here and as to why I've not been able to produce a video. <laughs> so um, I do apologize for the absence. It was not in the cards and, but you know, things kinda happen that way and and, um, but I, I know I've gotten, you know, several messages like, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I am fine. It's just been, um, well, let, let me, let me go ahead and get into it. I'll try to keep it as brief as I can because I don't want to sit here and tell you guys like a long story and have you guys be bored. So first of all, um, let me just say that, well, first of all, um, you'll have to pardon my nails. I don't have my acrylics on at this time. Um, I was having a lot of lifting and a lot of problems. So I took, you know, about once a year, I take them off and kind of give them a little bit of a recovery. And then um, I wait a few weeks and then I, I get a new set put back on. So I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna have them put back on in September before we, um, we're taking a trip to Ohio later on in September. So I'm going to kind of give them that recovery period and then put them back on like right before we go on the trip. So right now I don't have anything on them. They're just kind of plain and they're not very attractive. So um, pardon, pardon the way those look. So anyway, secondly, so let me just kind of tell you why I've not been able to produce a video. So let me just say that when technology works great, it is wonderful, but when it does not work so good, it is very frustrating. Um, I've been having some camera issues. Um, I, I, I will just say that I was trying to film a video and you know, we're right in the middle of Creative Haven month, or actually we're kind of coming into the home stretch of it, but you know, we're still doing Creative Haven month in August and I was attempting to do a video where I was working on a, a whip for you guys. And I, I lost pretty much like all of the footage because my camera decided to lock up on me. It's done it before once or twice, but it's been doing it a lot lately. I don't know why. Um, I ended up having to kind of reset everything and I just, I, I don't know guys. So I'm hoping that it's gonna play nice today and I can actually get this video out and that, you know, things will kind of turn the corner so that I can actually get some videos out to you guys because it's been, you know, I missed you guys, I really did. So yeah, that's what's been going on there. And then as far as streaming now, um, I try to stream every Tuesday at noon central time, um, central time here in the US. And over the last couple of weeks, it's not been working out. Um, I tried it a couple of weeks ago and the, the app, you know, there's a YouTube app that you, I stream from the phone. And so it goes through a, um, an, a YouTube app, you know, that I have on the phone and it kept crashing on me. Like sometimes it would crash even before I could get the thing to go live. It would crash on me in the middle of the stream and it would make the video buffer. Um, I'd get maybe five or 10 minutes into the stream and it would, it would crash on me. So I tried it next week and it started crashing even before I could get to the go live screen. So I don't understand. Um, I did, um, that's kind of another story. Um, but I did try, like I said, I did try a couple weeks ago and it wasn't working out. This week I wasn't able to stream because we've been having some um, fluctuations in weather. We've been having some storms and stuff. And so I don't really like to have the uh, computer on in the middle of a thunderstorm. So I decided not to even chance it because I don't want anything to happen to my computer. I really don't. Um, and then I did end up switching out phones. Um, that's kind of a long story. Like the phone itself was working okay, but um, I had the chance to get a slightly newer one. So I did that. And so I put the YouTube app, app, app. <laughs> I put the YouTube app back on it. So um, we're gonna try it again Tuesday and see how things go. If it crashes again on me, I will definitely know that it's it's YouTube's end and not me. So I know that they've been making some changes and stuff, and people have been having a hard time. So you know, we'll see what happens. I will try to stream Tuesday, but you know, we'll we'll just have to see what happens. And. Like I said, I'm hoping my camera decides to play nice with me now because um, I do need to get these videos out to you guys. So yeah, um, now another thing, 
like I said, I do have these two new coloring books and I've got another video, which is a haul video that I filmed probably a couple weeks ago that I have not edited yet that I do need to get up there. And that will be my last haul for August. And I probably will not have another haul for a while. Um, we're having to clamp down just a little bit because we are taking this trip to Ohio. So we have to kind of, you know, save, you know, make sure that we have, uh, you know, everything we need for that and, and to be able to, you know, be able to you know have that nice trip or whatever so um you're probably not gonna see a haul for me for a while and if i do get something it'll be just like one thing here or there so just i know you guys love my haul videos but i just you know there's times when i just i can't do it <laughs> so um you know um this is one of those times and so i will um when I have something new, if if I'm able to get something new, um, you know, I'll definitely show it in the middle of like another video that I'm doing at the time. So anyway, that is what's been going on here. I do apologize for the absence. Um, it was not in it was not a planned absence. Um, also, um, in light of me having the camera issues, I have um, I did take on another project, which um, which I'm still in the middle of. One of my blogs is moving house. I am moving. Um, I am moving one of my stories that I write to my WordPress blog. So if you go to sweetnightingale.com, you'll be able to read my main story that I, um, you know, it's called Sims Lit and I write the story and I use my Sims 3 game to take the pictures of the characters and just kind of stage the pictures for that. So anyway, the, the original blog that that story was on, um, I'm transferring the posts. I'm kind of rewriting a few things. We're doing some revisions. And so with uh, me not being able to film, I decided to go ahead and take that time to get that started. Um, it's going to be kind of an ongoing thing because I have a lot of posts that I do have to transfer and to rework. But, you know, um, I'm going to try to do that in my spare time. And, um, you know, when I'm not trying to film and hopefully... Hopefully my camera will cooperate and I can actually get videos out and I will work on my transfer when, you know, in my spare time. So that's basically what's been going on here. It's been sort of goofy um, with my technology issues, but at least I did find something to kind of keep me busy so I wasn't going totally stir crazy. So yeah, but anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the books. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and start out with the Magical Fairies. And let me just lower the camera just a tad so that we can see the book just a little bit more. Okay, so this is Magical Fairies, and this is a newer Creative Haven book. This is illustrated by Marjorie Sarnat. I think that is her name. Yeah, uh, Marjorie Sarnat. Sarnat. Her name is Marjorie Sarnat. All right, so um, let's go ahead and just flip through this book a little bit. Here is the back of it, and it got a little bent up in the mail, so the cover is a little bit bent up, but at least none of the pages were damaged, so that's good. So we've got some inspiration on how you can color one of the pictures, and I'm just making sure that everything is in frame. Okay, so let's just go ahead and flip through this book. So if you like fairies, this is definitely the book for you. Now, if you join me in my live streams on Tuesday, um, I flip through coloring books. That is what I do in my streams. I flip through coloring books because um, I am visually impaired. You know, those of you that are new to my channel, um, I do have a visual impairment, so it is hard for me to color um, on a live chat. It's hard for me to color and keep up with the chat at the same time, so I just flip through the coloring books and I have my chat. I film with the phone, stream with the phone. Um, I have the coloring book before me and then I have the chat up on my computer screen so I can actually see it pretty well. So that is what I do on my streams. I flip through coloring books. So if you want to join me for coloring book flip throughs, we have a good time. You know, it's a, um, we have a good time. We talk about pretty much anything and everything. It's just a, it's just a great time. So Try to join me on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Um, Central Time, U.S. Central Stand... Central... Actually, we're in Daylight Savings. Central Daylight Savings Time in the U.S., 12 noon. So this one uh, has some pretty good detail on here. This is going to keep you busy for a while. But the pictures are very pretty. I really like how these came out and I think these will look very very pretty when they are colored in 
And again, you know, Creative Haven paper is pretty good paper, especially for pencil use. And you can, you can watercolor on it, just you'll have to watch your water and put something in between your pages so you don't get anything on your next image. And of course, as you can see, it is single sided. So we do have um, some very nice pictures in here. What I will do is I will leave links in the description section uh, to Amazon where you can purchase these books. I am an Amazon affiliate, so when you purchase anything through links that I provide, and there's some more inspiration on how you can color another one of the pictures. So if you purchase anything through any links that I provide, I get a small little commission back, which I just use to kind of help support the channel so I can show you guys new products and stuff. And also I am an Amazon influencer, so I will leave that um, link in there so you can actually go to that page and pick out products that I uh, what that does is I have products that I like that I think you guys would like and you can shop from there or you can go right to my affiliate link which is also in the description section and you can if you don't really know what you want or if you just want to kind of you know look yourself you can just go to that page and then type in whatever product you want and then um, it will go toward my um, my affiliate thing so um, if you want to support my channel that way, then um, there's three ways to do that. So, but I will link uh, direct, I, I will put direct links to these books in the description section so that you'll be able to go right to them. So this is Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson, and this is something that has, that we've all been waiting for for quite a while. I think I pre-ordered this thing, shoot, I think when it became available for pre-order maybe four or five months ago or something like that. So yeah, um, let me just go ahead and read you the little, um, I'll read you the first paragraph right here of the, of the blurb. This down here just talks about Hannah Carlson and, and the books that she's already done. So it says, in jewelry box, Hannah Carlson invites you into a blooming summer to wonder, oh, that was a loud train, oh my gosh. Did you guys hear that? Like we kind of live like a little bit close to the tracks, but I mean, we're kind of far away from the tracks, but boy, you can still hear the trains coming through here. It is so loud. Okay, let's get on with it here. <laughs> In Jewelry Box, Hannah Carlson invites you into a blooming summer to wander behind the gates of a beautiful deserted house from the turn of the century. Magical creatures await in the wild garden and inside the house you'll come across forgotten perfume bottles and sparkling jewelry just waiting to be rediscovered. And then it just goes on to say, um, it just, it, it just goes on to talk about Hannah Carlson and, and, and all the other books that she's illustrated and stuff like Summer Nights, Daydreams, Seasons, you know, that kind of thing. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the flip through of this book. I've kind of taken a little peek inside it. It came to me late yesterday afternoon. Um, today is Thursday, August 24th. So it came late to me in the afternoon, and so I, I didn't have the time to actually make the video and flip through this or to see if my camera was going to operate nicely. Um, we had to rush off to a Lions Club meeting last night, so I'm just, I'm just getting around to doing it this morning. So anyway, it is uh, one of the hardcover books that we are used to seeing from Hannah, and it's got some beautiful end papers. Now this one is double-sided, and I'm just going to make sure that everything is in frame. Now the spine is pretty stiff on this thing so you're gonna have to crack it you know when you once you get your book. But um, the paper in here feels pretty much like the paper in her other books and it is a beautiful layout. I've taken a peek at some of the pictures in here. I didn't flip through the whole book and look at it but just what I have looked at the pictures are very very detailed. Extremely extremely detailed so you might need some fine liners for some of this uh, fine work because it, you're going to see a lot of just major, small, tiny little detail. But um, if you like color, if you like coloring gemstones, this is definitely the book for you because, you know, we have like a lot of rings and a lot of earrings. I mean, it is called Jewelry Box after all, but we do have some people wearing jewelry. Like you'll be able to see like some, there's cameos in here as well. Oh my gosh, look at those. So pretty. Oh, look at that gorgeous ring. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
I'm going to definitely have to watch some tutorials to see how to color some of this stuff because I am not very good with gemstones right now. So when I, and this is probably a book that I will not be able to color with you guys on camera because of the massive, massively fine detail in this. It's because of my visual impairment, um, these smaller, smaller details would be really hard for me to color with you guys on camera. But it will be going with my other Hannah Carlson books and I will be getting adventurous and, um, and will color in this, obviously. But I think the pictures are really pretty. If you are a Hannah fan, you will definitely like this book. But just know that this is going to keep you very, 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 very busy for quite a long time because of these massive fine details in here. It seems like this book is a little, is quite a bit more detailed than some of her other ones were. I mean, not that any of her other ones weren't detailed, but it just seems like this book here is, um, is, is even more detailed. Some of the designs even look a little busy, in my opinion, but it is still a very, very pretty book. And I imagine these pictures are going to be gorgeous once they are colored in. Oh my gosh, look at those. Look at those. Got little cameos there. Oh my gosh. So pretty. And some of these really lend themselves to be able to have a, a really nice background. Like um, you could use your pastels on this for backgrounds if you want. Here's a collection of just some different jewelry pieces right there. So pretty. But if you like a, an intricately detailed book, um, this is going to be the book for you because it does have a lot of intricate details in it. Okay. Just had to check the time on my camera because it does shut off on me every 29 minutes and I just don't trust it because, you know, you lock up once, you're going to do it again. So I have to kind of make sure that we're still going. <laughs> oh my gosh, can you guys hear that train? Like, oh my gosh, like I think it's another train. that It's either another came, train that came through or it's a different train that came right after, right after the first one. Holy smoke. We noticed that there's a couple of the engineers that really love to, to blow on that horn. I mean, they're supposed to. Oh, there it is again. There it is again. Oh my gosh. I mean, they're supposed to blow the horn, you know, at the crossing and stuff, but um, I mean, I think some of them really love to lay on it even more than, uh, you know, than the usual. Crazy. See, look at all that detail right there. Just look at that. There's no way that you'd be able to sit there and do that in one afternoon. If you can, then you are a super speedy colorist. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. How pretty is that? Yeah, this is going to take a this is going to take a little bit of doing because I mean, just the uh, just the detail in this. And here's here's one of those like trees. What do, what do they call this like a an earring tree or something like that. It's got earrings and some other pieces on it. Yeah, this is this book. This book is going to this is this book is going to challenge you. I ain't going to lie. This book is going to challenge you. This book is really going to challenge. I I mean just look at that. It's beautiful, but if you are intimidated by um, a lot of intricate detail, you you know you're you're gonna feel challenged on this one. Here's another page with some different pieces right there. You can color them. Uh, you can have like a theme going on if you want to, or you can color them all different colors. I kind of like how they have like a, you know, there's a lot of pages with like a big you know, one big thing to color, but I like the pages too, where you have several different things to color, you know, different little individual pieces to color. Kind of like how Johanna Basford did some of her, um, 
ornaments in Johanna's Christmas where you have like, you know, a, a real big one sometimes or you get like, there's this one page I remember that's, I think it had like six or eight individual little ones and so you can do whatever you want with those. And seeing the pages with just the little individual pieces like that, it kind of reminded me of that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. Here's another little character right there. Oh my gosh, just uh, very pretty, but very challenging. <laughs> I will say that very pretty, but very, very challenging. So here is the last page here. We have the black end papers, and then here is the back of the book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the flip throughs of Magical Fairies from Creative Haven, illustrated by Marjorie Sarnat, and then also Jewelry Box from Hannah Carlson. I love the books. Um, I, I do love both of them. I think they're very pretty. But um, if, you're, if you're not one that likes a lot of very, very small detail, these books may not be the, the ones for you. Uh, but if you like a challenge and if you like the, the little tiny details and if you just, you know, kind of want to sit and have a challenging piece to work on, then, then, then these books will be great for you. So um, they're beautiful books. I love them. Um, again, I will leave links for them in the description section so you'll be able to dr go directly to them. Um, you guys have a great day and don't forget to comment and hit that like button and subscribe and also hit that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded which hopefully will be a lot more often now. <laughs> you all have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video. All right, bye my little goldies.